Hey, what's up guys? This is Ashlax. Today I'm going to be talking about the official Epic 7 live stream that unveiled uh, some information for us, uh, some exciting changes actually. So stay tuned till the end. There's uh, quite a bit of information in uh, in this video. So I'm going to sum it up real quick. But we got the uh, March balance adjustment changes and I made a video already. I gave you guys my thoughts about this and uh, these heroes are going to be uh, more viable and I'm very excited about uh, these changes. I want to use most of these heroes in uh, in PvP. So that's going to be real cool right here. And we got uh, two artifacts getting buffed. Uh, well, so we're going to be seeing more play out of these heroes and out of these artifacts. So we have the Book of Memories, right? So these are side stories which are not coming back for free. Like you have to spend the Sky Stones to unlock them. So if you want in this instance, uh, if you want this one, this is for the uh, Midnight Bloom Artifact if you want to get a crit chance for uh, the whole team. And uh, I mean, I I'm not sure if this one we need to pay, but I, I think we have to pay for each one of them. Unless th this one is for free. I don't think so. I don't think so because the price is here. It's 900 Sky Stones, guys. If they reduce this, uh, reduce this amount in the future, then, uh, you know, they're going to reimburse the, the difference. Hopefully they reduce it. 900 seems a bit steep to be honest. Uh, but yeah, if you want Cirilla, if you want um, the artifact that gives uh, barrier uh, yeah, percent HP or door for uh, mages, I forgot the name of it. But yes, you can uh, get all that uh, from this, uh, you know, this old side story in the book of memories. To be honest, like you don't need this thing if you want to use Cirilla. She's actually pretty solid as a single target damage dealer. Uh, World Arena Ardor season ends. Oh my god, you guys, you gotta get on top of the grind. There's just, there's not much time left. Uh, what is it? A few hours? Like, yeah, a few hours. Less than a day left. So, Reach Master, you can get the nice epic skin of Fallen Cecilia. I will be getting it on uh, all four accounts. I don't think I have time to actually do a stream, guys, uh, for, for RTA, like a last push just before it ends. Um, yeah, I, I was quite busy. Anyways, now we have the epic skin. If you missed out on that, right? Um, Spectre Tenebria, Dark Tyrant, Spectre Tenebria. You can get that for 110 skin tickets. An epic skin. It's going to be expensive. It's It was to be expected, guys. And here, this is like um, a new feature, right? Like when you're doing World Arena, uh, inviting friends, you... you you're setting up a battle. I forgot to what the mode is even called. I never used it. Bok battle. Bok battle, right? You can actually ban multiple heroes. Three uh, heroes per player before the battle even starts. And you can see here at the bottom, pre-ban heroes. Three each. That, that's pretty crazy. So, yeah, it could definitely be uh, quite interesting. If you're using like a team of combat just boosters, like they could just ban all of them. And Oh, man. I, I mean, that, that's the like the real world arena but it's you know for fun right drop rate up for charles man uh overpowered heroes uh heroes i said heroes because it's not only charles guys that's the thing charles is a beast for pvp his artifact not so much you know it's for falconer glory most of the time uh yeah i mean charles is definitely a very strong hero that you can use in pv and pvp content guys so here's your chance but um there's also tamarine which i'll talk about in a second i'll talk about uh, muse rima the specialty change of rima yes she, she's a girl and uh it's gonna be just after these uh pictures that i want to show you guys real quick oh that's a, spe a specialty change you need to eliminate 500 animal model machinery uh give six order of the field insignia 2000 adventure points in Anya, and of course winning the trial battle so that's how to unlock her and there's some interesting stuff that i'm thinking that can work with that hero uh should, should be fun i don't know where i'm gonna do the specialty change i don't know how fast i'll do it i think um, it's gonna have to wait but it's gonna definitely be a hero that's gonna be fun to use drop rate up for tamarine if you have issues in pv content guys you can get yourself tamarine idol shoes actually a pretty solid artifact as well uh, tamarine is good yes if you're struggling pp and the abyss all sorts of places right you can pull for her she's gonna help but for pvp like 
people are not using her that much anymore. Like uh, Tamarine plus Iseria, Tamiseria combo with uh, I offense hero or two. Oh, that, that, that's been a, a very popular uh, setup for arena offense in the past. Uh, but she's mostly for PV content, guys. So here's your chance. I don't like that they have so many amazing heroes all at once. So we got Charles, we got Tamarine, right? These are lasting one week. Charles was, uh, okay, from 18th to 25, uh, 25th, and then 25th to the, the 1st of April, it's Tamarine. And then we have Vivian as well. So Vivian is also very strong. Uh, so, you know, PV hero, PVP hero. Uh, but Vivian can be used in PvE as well, and she she's very strong. Like she she helps a ton, and she dishes a lot of damage. Like it, it's pretty insane what she's able to do. So here's your chance. Maybe I'll give you guys more thoughts about these heroes uh, later on. I'll try to uh, you know bring them with me in RTA when I live stream, or maybe I'll, I'll do a, like a short video as well. Or uh, not Tamarine because she's a PvE hero, but like. Uh, Yes, Charles, uh, potentially, and uh, and Vivian. I'll uh, I'll try to uh, showcase them uh, for you guys. So we got DJ Bazaar, guys, in the Mystic Summon rotation. He's getting buffed. I talked about that. Uh, it's pretty solid, but of course, a lot of players will not be building uh, DJ Bazaar, Desergio Bazaar, because his base speed is too uh, too slow, and his survivability is not high enough. Even though they they're boosting it, if you get outsped. But yeah, he's very strong, but I would always wait for knowing what's the next. What's the new ML5 hero that's coming up after this rotation? So you already you have time to save and wait. And uh, Great Chief Kawana, I'll try to get her like from Moonlight Summons. Maybe Covenant Summons. I mean, the odds of getting her is extremely low. But I'm not going to be pulling for Desertual Bazaar, I believe. Because I need to save for new heroes on my four accounts, you know. It's a lot of Mystic uh, Medals. Okay, so... Yeah, don't pull for that. Kawana, don't chase 4-star Moonlight heroes. It's not worth it. it. Oh my god, the rates though. Guys, like, they're so low. There's no pity, so don't do that. Guilty Gear collaboration returns, baby. And that is really cool. We got a bunch of rewards when you log in into the game, including Soul Bad Guy. You're going to be getting Soul for free, guys. Uh, Junker Dog, though. I'm, I'm not... Wait. Yeah, I'm not sure how we're going to be getting it. I, I believe it's going to be from the side story. But Soul Bad Guy, we get him from logging in the game. From uh, what they said on the live stream. So, yeah. Pretty nice. And we got a 5-star uh, summoning ticket as well. Maybe we get Soul and Junker Dog from logging in. So, that would be insane, actually. LT Gear Group Summon. Okay, that's a rough one, guys. Now, the priority, the top one priority heroes, it's not even close, it's Dizzy. Dizzy PvE and PvP content, guys. She is overpowered, she's amazing. Uh, top players use her all the time. Her crippling effects are devastating. And you have to get Dizzy. You have to get her. She's definitely the, the better one there. But there's also, uh, this is going to uh, be up for two weeks. Balance Adjustments Preview. In uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we're uh, going to see a Balance Preview Adjustment for Elfelt, Valentine, and Soul Bad Guy. So Elfelt, she definitely needs a buff. Uh, I showcased her in the past, but yes, she's getting a uh, buff or buffs. We'll see. I'll talk about that, give you guys my thoughts. Uh, so we'll see more uh, play out of her. But still, with her kit, Dizzy is number one, guys. She's number one. You have to pull for Dizzy. Forget about Elfelt Valentine. Unless, like, she's waifu material. But you're, you're going to be benching her a lot. You're going to be using way more. Like, you're going to use way more than Elfelt. Like, uh, you know, Wyvern. That's already, like, huge just for that Dizzy. And then we've got plenty of PV content. And PvP, you can, you know... Play with her, base your place out around her and stuff like that. So bad guy, we'll see. Maybe he's going to be more usable in P content. Already amazing. Uh, Stars uh, Mirage Coin Shop. So you can, when you have enough pulls, enough of that currency, right? You do like 120 pulls, you get the currency. Get dizzy. That, that's it, baby. That That's that's the best bet. Best thing you can go for. Bike and speed low uh, to... 
open and boost combatants of your team. You can use her for one shot Banshee, but now um, with restrict debuff, uh, it's 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 gonna be safer to do Banshee with restrict debuff, I think, uh, than worrying about one shotting and the gear level is way too high and the success rate is not th that amazing too. So forget about Biken for that stuff, guys. So uh, I don't know why. Uh, I guess I had the screenshot multiple times. So yes, let's talk about. Rima's specialty change real quick guys. Let's look at the specialty change of Rima together. If you still haven't followed me on Twitch guys, the link is in the description. While you're down there, maybe you want to smash that like button. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you still haven't and press that bell notification as well. So, uh, I like her design. Pretty cool. I like the animation as well. Now her kit is going to open up some uh, interesting stuff because she was usable before. But now, yeah, I feel like there's definitely some interesting stuff that, that opens up. So the skill number three, right? War uh, Heim. This thing now gives attack buff for two turns to the target. Let's say you use a hero that does any AoE, right? You have the attack buff uh, from Auxiliary Lots for two turns. You got the souls for soul burning. And now you attack once. Now Rima resets the cooldown of, let's say, the skill three. The, the cooldown is back up because it's a three turn cooldown. Let's say... Uh, and now, you use green loss to push that hero again to use the skill 3 another time. Uh, another time. You could use uh, Isaria, that cooldown of a hero, and then you can also use Rima to reset the cooldown of, of that hero or lower it enough. Uh, you can do a bunch of like crazy stuff. I don't know how viable it would be in RTA because they could just see it coming and just straight up ban. Right, uh, like one piece of the puzzle in that sort of combo. Yeah, if she resets the cooldown and then she gives attack buff, so you could push that hero using green lots, giving full combat shooting S, and you already have the attack buff. Now, for the runes, uh, you got some survivability, right? Some health, very uh, welcome there because survivability wise, it was bad. Effectiveness, uh, that's good, right? She, she does have some debuffs. More than before and effectiveness for allies as well five percent which works for herself as well now uh, dual attack uh, chance increased by two percent so instead of five it's uh, seven percent whoop de doo uh, and then we got here the skill one quick shot you can increase the damage at that then you can also uh, decrease speed of the target by one turn 75 percent chance with sacrifice rule and it's good it doesn't have a condition there. Like, it will just work no matter which element you're attacking. And Solitude Rune, when using Quick Shot, if all allies or ice elemental heroes, has a 100% chance of powered up between combatants of, of allies, of the ally with the highest attack by 5%. Small changes there, and we're seeing that more and more often with specialty change heroes that they're targeting a specific element for a mono team. Mostly for PvE because uh, uh, PvE content, you're not, you're not gonna pull that off in PvE, right? So this hero could be uh, pretty solid in Expedition. They showcase her there. Or the rune when using by arrow of all eyes or elemental heroes. Once again, you know, 100% chance defense break for two turns. So yes, Wyvern uh, could be interesting, but uh, this is skill number two. It has a cooldown. It's not like skill number one, defense break, uh, which you have better options for that instead of her. That, that's the thing, right? And you don't know who's going to reduce cooldown for. And it's it's going to be a big mess. And I don't feel like she's going to be reliable for Wyvern. You could use her if you have her built. But uh, better contenders. Um, she is a, a ranger, right? So you could have Song of Stars for target debuff. The speed down will not work versus the boss. Combat units pushback will not work. 100% chance to increase combat units uh, by, by 10%, right? Um when Lullaby Arrow lands as a critical hit. Uh, so, yes, uh, I can definitely see her being for some uh, fun setups. Uh, maybe more so in Arena and in Guild War than in RTA. RTA, if you're stuck versus Earth Heroes, if you pick her too early on, uh, survivability wise is quite low you can't bait element like versus the AI so yeah harvest rune when using uh, hopeful time uh, if the whole team's ice has 100% chance to have the target uh, for two turns so you got attack buff and speed buff 
right? So, so that's pretty sweet. And they will show that right here in Expedition versus, versus a Brutal Ferris. Uh, yes, it's good. Like a lot of value out of these buffs. Okay, we have free unequip event for the weekend. Very nice stuff. It's time to swap gear around, guys, and have a lot of fun. Maybe you had a lot of gear on your RTA heroes to push for master. So here's your chance. You want to push in the abyss and all that good stuff. You want to just buy stuff out and have fun. There you go. So let's look at the uh, the update content. I covered that stuff already. Book of memories. So yeah, all that stuff here. Oh, that's it. 900 sky stones for the first one as well. You know, you, that, that seems a bit high, man. Like you, you don't need these artifacts really. Okay. Oh, nice. We are in the mailbox is here. So I feel like a lot of players are kind of missing out. Players that are not so up to date with how the game works, newer players especially, they've been missing out on, uh, you know, web events. And that's a ton of energy you're sitting on, guys. Now for the changes, right? For the expedition. Okay, I wrote this down here. So on the uh, 31st of March, 50 equipment slot expansion. Very cool, man. That 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 I, I love this because I need space on all my accounts, guys. It, uh, energy required for expedition will go down from, okay, a uh, level one, two, three, right? It was now it's uh, 16, 18, 20. It's going down to energy per uh, level. So instead of 16, it's going to be 14. Instead of 18, it's going to be 16. And instead of 20, it's going to be 18. So a pretty good change right there. Uh, it's gonna it adds up. It really does. All levels and expedition will give points. It used to be level one is 40, level two is 50, level three is 60, but now it's not, it's all of them giving 60. You should be opening level three, guys, unless you are a newer player. Even then, just get stronger friends. Total points required will be decreased from uh, 2100, 2100 to 1000. So to get the last reward is 100 points less, guys. Starting from April, a total of six greater equipment modification gem selection chests will be given two sets per boss. So that's great like, because that allows you to just select which uh, set you want to have the equipment modification gems for. And that saves a lot of energy in the long run and you don't have to waste so much energy and rely on the RNG and all that stuff. So a very nice addition. And uh, if you want the survey link, guys, uh, for the free energy and gold, uh, I don't know, it's going to be in the description of the video, uh, unless it expires, but it's going to be down there. So you can uh, you can get that. But yeah, uh, let us know what you guys think about all these changes. Are you excited? Are you excited for the uh, Guilty Gear collaboration heroes, Elfelt and Soul Bad Guy getting buffed? What are you most excited for? Are you going to be pulling for one of these heroes? You should go dizzy, guys. Uh, and Rima, are you going to be building her? A pretty easy specialty change. Uh, I think there's a lot of fun to be had with uh, Rima, to be honest, especially after these changes. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. I'm Astronauts. Good luck with all you do. Peace out for now. And follow me on Twitch, guys. Don't forget.